Hello my sleepy children. Janet is a member on our private Facebook group and if you're on Facebook and you're not a member, just click the link above and you can head on over there and say hello to everyone. You're all in the same boat. Anyway, Janet's put up a post and it's a post that I see every week without fail on one of the groups or one of the forums and she writes, please help. I have an AirSense 10 by ResMed and the last three mornings I've woken up with water everywhere. I've checked the water tank during the day and there's no leaks. What's going on? Well, Janet, I'm here today to tell you exactly what's going on. And it's not your fault. In fact, it's ResMed's fault. This AirSense 10 water chamber is a faulty design. And today I'm gonna to show you why it's a faulty design and also show you why they've changed the design when they've moved to the AirSense 11. All right, let's do it. All right, so here's the AirSense 10 water chamber. And there's basically three parts to it. You've got this top lid section. Here, oh, that part comes out as well. So maybe four parts. <laughs> uh, the top lid section, but the problems with the, the bottom section, and what you have is this clear plastic part, and then there's like a silicone ring that sort of runs right around the side here that joins in with the actual heater plate part. During the night, when your humidifier switches on and it starts to heat up this plate, it's expanding and contracting, expanding and contracting, and over time what happens is the little silicone seal part that runs around the, the side here, eventually that not even eventually, sometimes, like Janet said it was, her chamber was brand new. <laughs> so sometimes it's just a, maybe just a faulty one that comes out of the factory, but more often than not, I think it's just being on that heater plate and then cooling down, heater plate cooling down, expanding and contracting. The water starts to leak out through this. Let's see if I can see it there. Just leak out through this seal. You can run your fingernail down it, you can sort of feel it. And then the, that's where the water comes out. So the reason Janet's not really seeing it during the day is because I imagine she's not heating it up during the day and that's why. I've seen all, all sorts of people try and fix them. I've seen guys on YouTube doing like getting food grade silicon and running around the side. That seems to work. Um, there's some other fixes as well. I don't think you should fix them. <laughs> I think you should contact ResMed and say, your chamber's faulty doesn't work right the way it's supposed to and get them to send you out another chamber. That's what I think the fix should be. Now, I'll just quickly show you here, just taking this apart like I just did before because it's quite handy to do when you're cleaning and some people don't know that it comes apart like this. I'll just put it on back to front there. <laughs> All right, so for cleaning purposes, I'm sure many of you sort of just open it up like that and then sort of clean it out. But what you can do is just on the side here where it clicks in, if you just get your thumb in and just give it a bit of a push, that whole part pops out like so, which makes it a little bit more manageable when cleaning. All right, and when it comes to cleaning, um, if you're getting a little bit of, I don't know, uh, sediment, mineral deposits on the bottom there, one part vinegar to 10 parts water. Now, some of you might be trying to struggle with how to put that together. The chamber holds about 380 mils, if you fill it up to here. So you're wanting to put in 380 mils of water and then basically a shot glass. <laughs> That's my standard measurement, uh, standard unit of measurements, a shot glass, give or take 10 mils, depending on which country you're from. Um, but if you put in a shot glass of vinegar and let it soak in there, mix it around, let it soak in there as well, this, the acid of the vinegar will really help clean that up. Um, I've actually got ResMed's cleaning instructions right here, okay, straight out of the book. So um, you can just do two things. Wash the humidifier, tub, air tubing, and outlet connector in warm water using household dishwashing liquid. So tip there, warm water. You don't want really, really hot water. The reason you don't want what hot, really hot water, once again, because of the seal, yeah? It's gonna, it's gonna affect the seal, it's gonna contract the metal and Cause, cause issues. Um, or you can do, like I said before, one parts vinegar, nine parts water, I should have said, 
So once again, no. It's not exact science. 380 mils, one shot glass of vinegar, leave it in there and then just give it a wipe around with a little dishcloth, rinse it out with fresh water and away you go. So you can do that. The top section, uh, this little part here, just, it just peels off. There's no magic clips. You can give that a wipe down. And then in here as well, if you've got a little tube brush, which all of you should have, you can just run your little tube brushes in through the holes. And then once again, just give it a little bit of a soak in some warm soapy water or in the vinegar as well. Pretty straightforward guys, I just thought I'd quickly show you that. Now I wanna show you quickly the AirSense 11 tub. The cleaning's pretty much the same, but I wanna show you where they've changed it and, the, and why they've changed it. So AirSense 11 here, you can see they've changed the design. All right, and I haven't had any problems or seen any problems from people on forums having problems with leaky chambers in the AirSense 11. And the reason they've changed it is purely because um, this one leaks. Okay? That's the reason they've done it. The rest of the chamber is pretty much the same. It no longer has that part on the top that we pulled out before. But once again, you can also unclip this one. Now, I did show you in another video this mat. which you can pick them up, they're, they're pretty affordable really. But if you put this on the bedside table, it's gonna stop your, your machine from moving around, so you're less likely to pull it off the bedside table if you move around a lot during the night, and lots of people do that. It's also gonna stop vibrations um, as well, but the main thing it's gonna do is if you do get a leaky water chamber, these mats can hold, they don't look like it, but they can hold an insane amount of water. I'm pretty sure I could tip this whole chamber out, 380 mils, and it's gonna hold the whole thing on this mat, so it's not gonna you know, ruin your bedside table or go down onto your carpet, um, and, you, and you're good to go. You know, the, machine, the machine's fine, it sits above it. It's not gonna affect the machine, because it sits on these ridges above the water. So they're definitely worth having a look at, guys. Pretty cheap and easy way to solve that, that problem. But um, now, I know a lot of you guys also go and get these sort of parts from Amazon because you can pick them up at a really cheap price and CPAP gear is going to be going up in price this year. I've just received some information from Philips. They're jacking up their prices 10%. ResMed will follow. Your gear's going up. It's unavoidable. Inflation's a bitch. Um, but I have heard some whispers the manufacturers are really going hard and trying to put the brakes on people selling stuff on Amazon. So. If you're getting a few of these cheap ones, you might want to get a, pick up a few extras. But also, like I said before guys, hit up ResMed and just demand they send you a new chamber if your other one's faulty. All right, if it's leaking out the seals, that is a fault, it's a product fault, and they need to send you another one. So I'll put some information in there on how you can hit up ResMed and get them to send you a new chamber. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, thanks for watching. I have just started memberships on the channel. If you want to sign up and become a member, um, members get a few extra perks, giveaways, special discounts. I'm also doing members only videos. You can do requests and a whole bunch of stuff. So sign up to become a member, support the channel. And as always, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.